Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Rasayan Academy once again. So guys, bringing another important name reaction to all of you. That is your Shamishan Densted Rearrangement. Okay. So this has been asked various times in your CSI Net and Gate examination. Right. So let's talk about this. And uh, more reactions are uh, following these. Now the important reaction is if you have studied the Riemer-Tiemann reaction, right? I'll just uh, post the link over here somewhere in, for the Riemer-Tiemann reaction. You see that in the presence of phenol, right? The phenol is in the same reaction combination CHCl3 chloroform and NaOH. All right. So phenol is undergoing a reaction which gives you orthoformylation right so this is your riemer tiemann reaction right riemer tiemann reaction in the presence of the chloroform and base is going to give you orthoformylation right but when we are doing the same reaction on the heterocyclic compounds let's say specifically on pyrrole it's going to give you substituted pyridine okay it is not going to give you orthoformylation it is a rearrangement reaction how does it happen let's see so cyclopropanation of pyrrole with dichlorocarbene generated from CHCl3 and NaOH subsequent rearrangement takes place to give you 3-chloropyridine. Let's see what happens over here. First of all, please understand what is the CHCl3 and NaOH combination doing. Your chloroform and a base. What does it do? Let's see. So chloroform molecule let's say there is one cl over here another over here and here so oh minus is a base right it is going to take away your proton from here the proton when it is eliminated is going to give you alpha elimination right we rarely talk about this we mostly do the beta elimination reaction but this is your alpha elimination reaction all right Alpha elimination is elimination of the electropositive and electronegative group from the same carbon. That is going to result into your carbene formation, dichlorocarbene. Okay? So this dichlorocarbene is going to give you addition reaction. Okay? Just like it gives simple addition to a double bond, it is going to give you the addition over here as well in this way. It's going to react with one of the double bonds of pyrrole molecule. Like this. Okay. And then since the nitrogen has a lone pair to attack, there is going to be a ring expansion. Okay. And you also have a base. So if you want to write, you can use a lone pair. Or let's say we have a base over here. We are going to use the base. Base has deprotonated the nitrogen. All right. And the negative charge now falls onto this nitrogen carbon bond. This middle bond is going to break apart like this. Okay, falls over here. One of the Cl minus is going to leave. Okay, please follow, follow the arrows. What happens? Negative charge falls on this bond. The middle bond is going to migrate. If that bond breaks, you are going to get a bigger ring now. Okay. And you are going to get the pyridine molecule. Alright. The double bonds are as it is. One double bond over here. Another double bond over here. Right. One single bond in between. Third carbon pair, you are going to get the Cl. If you want, you can do the numbering also. That is going to help you in understanding. This is your nitrogen number 1, carbon number 2, carbon number 3, this is carbon number 4. Okay, so you get a double bond in between 1 and 2 that you see, 1 and 2 over here. So 2 and 3 is going to be a single bond as it is and 3 and 4 is also going to get a double bond over here. Okay, so very easy to understand. When you start with this combination chloroform and NaOH, you are going to result into 3-chloropyridine. Okay. Now there are plenty of questions on this uh, mechanism. Are you also going to get the same reaction with the indole molecule? Yes. Are you going to get the same reaction with the indole molecule? Absolutely. 
using the chloroform and base you are going to get the ring expansion and all right this is going to be a six member ring now quinoline okay and then also it is going to be three substituted okay so the same reaction is going to work on indole as well you are going to get this product right now guys you can ask me this question that why in your reamer teman reaction right you are doing the reamer teman reaction on the phenol molecule all right reamer teman reaction forms on the phenol molecule so why you can ask me that why the ccl2 is not doing cyclopropanation over here so i'll tell you even if it does so let's say even if it does so in the presence of a base the phenol phenol is going to form the phenolate right so even if that happens the phenolate is going to quickly break the bond from here all right uh, let's say this is your double bond over here phenolate is going to quickly break the bond and give you o minus and going to be ccl2 over here only on one carbon right so anyways yes it's double bond like this and only on one carbon like this so anyways it's going to have a negative charge and this is what you have so it's not going to do cyclopropanation in the reamer teman reaction right because the lone pair, the uh, phenolate is very active right okay now one for one more important example is the density rearrangement happens with chloroform and NaOH but let's say if you are taking a different source of carbonyl and this is a major source of confusion to students when you are having the pyrrole molecule you have taken for example ch2cl2 dichloromethane you have taken you have not taken the chloroform so in the presence of base what is the kind of al uh, carbene that you generate you have two hydrogens and you have two chlorine over here in the presence of a base you are going to do alpha elimination and you get monochlorocarbene so monochlorocarbene will still give you the uh, you know rearranged product let's see how does it work it's going to do the same reaction cyclopropanation first of all then in the presence of a base you will get a negative charge over here same rearrangement will take place but since you only had one nitrogen on this side uh, one chlorine on this side there will not be a chlorine over here there will only be this hydrogen because chlorine is removed okay so you are getting only pyridine molecule so don't do this uh, wrong in your examination very very important has been asked plenty of times dichloromethane uh, will give you simple pyridine on ring expansion and chloroform in naoh will give you 3 chloropyridine all right so okay guys another important name reaction discussed shamishan density rearrangement very important similar to your reamer teman reaction always compare and study okay so compare this with reamer teman reaction and then only study it will be easy to remember to all of you okay so yes guys once again bye everyone if you haven't yet subscribed please do and also follow me on an academy and you can join an academy plus using the code jagdts for a 10% discount bye guys have a nice day